it, guys? What is up? Loot Games, and today we are doing a showcase on Budging Source 387's map. Now, this map is mainly focused around traps and around various different things like that. So, at spawn, we have a house made out of wood and dynasty wood. Got the standard stone background with wood as well. I think that is also, if I'm not mistaken, borrow wood or something like that. Could be, but I'm not 100%. He also has boss trophies. I think these make unlimited lava, unlimited honey, and unlimited water when they're turned on. To the left, he has a nice pumpkin house. And just underneath that, he actually has this glitch chest. Now, to set this up, all he did was activated the actual platforms. And then when he actually... I don't think I've got... Oh, I've not got anything. So he activated the platforms. And then he's put actuators here, here, and here. And when he turns it on, it'll allow the chest to be duplicated. So then you can get a ton of chests. And before these can be duplicated, what you need to do is put things actually in the chests. You put the actuators there first. Then it turns it, obviously, into a background wall. And then you put the chest down, then when you turn it back on again, it does this. Here he's got a trap that you can see in. I, don't, I think this is for waves of enemies. So you see in there, get hit by the slimes. Or are they bombs? They look like bombs, to be honest. If you go in here, turn it on, and then, then, then there's a ton of bombs, I think. That is. That is going to demonstrate it for us. But yeah, it turns on. Everything will fall in there, and then get hit. Go to the left. He has just got a standard treehouse. I think this was just... Something that just spawned here. I don't think he's built that. If we go back to spawn, he actually has a teleporter. So this teleporter takes you up to this nice thing here. I don't know. I think it's just like a room with teleporters, I guess. Yeah. If we go to the left first, though. And to the left, he has a nice display of vanities and some boss masks. That's what it's called. It's made of dynasty wood. Background wall. He's got a weird bag. I don't know what this is called. I need to find out what it's called. And then he has some NPCs here as well, as you can see. And it's a nice little building. It's in progress, though. If we go back through the teleporter and we go through the middle, he has a nice display of armors. Now, I don't know if these say anything. Sorcerer, Ranger. So are these classes as well? Yeah, th these are classes for different weapons. So that's Mage, Range, Melee. And he's got some more vanity there. Which is actually armor. This is uh, every single armor in the game, it looks like. That's a really nice job there. So some crafting stations. And a few more NPCs. And obviously it's made out of dynasty wood, normal wood. And stone background walls. There's a nice collection of banners here as well. And if we go down to the right. He has some chests with various items in it. I don't know if he hosts this. That you could take if he does host. But if he doesn't. Then, yeah, he just does some items there. So that's like sort of a work in progress. If we head to the right of the map, he has another trap, which you can turn on. And I think this is more for frost moons and stuff. So obviously you'd sit up here. And when you get up here, you turn it on. And then when it's turned on, everything will start attacking. These are all actuated as well. So they uh, fire twice. But there's spear traps, fire traps. And you can turn it all on. I don't know uh, if it's lagging or something, though. But yeah, it's, it's not turning on for me. But that's a really cool trap. I really do like it. And you can turn it on and off as well. And then uh, you can make this part open up. So when this part opens up, enemies will drop down here. They'll obviously get killed. And I think it's really good for waves. Is it uh, working now? I don't think it's... Um... Oh, no, it's turned on now. So there's the spear traps coming down because they're actuated. Like I say, you can turn everything on and easily kill Frost moons and pumpkin moons. I think it's just like just a general trap. Over here is a really cool bridge that I actually really liked. This is uh, one of the highlights of the map for me. I, I like this bridge. What it's done with it, it reminds me of like an old Chinese bridge or something. You know how they have it? I don't know. It's like a samurai warrior type bridge. <laughs> As if you're going into some sort of Shaolin room or something. I don't know. Something like that. But it looks really awesome. And I do really like things like that. So we could see some... Like Chinese styled maps. It'd be awesome to see something like that. There is some pixel lights which he's done. He's done some spectre armor. He's done a terror blade, hollowed armor, and a death sickle. So they're really awesome. And he's done a really nice job at building these. Well, they actually look really nice. Then up here he has a modified sky biome. 
and in the sky biome, he has one of the NPCs house, which I don't think it was my purpose he did this. He just made it look a bit fancy, and one of the NPCs come and moved in here. Then he's just working on some various pixel arts on the map, so it might be updated by next time you join. Because I record these maps in advance. So I record them. I do not host these maps either. So I can't host them. And if you do want to join. Remember. Message budging source 387. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead. And let him see some of the value maps. So when you're ready. Go ahead. Um. I made this world with the help of one of my friends. Plum. And. Pretty nice. But. I'm still. Adding things. Um. That's pretty much it. <laughs> So that has been Budging Source 387. If you do want to join, remember to go ahead and message him. I don't know if he hosts this map or if it's just like a map where he builds in. He might let you come and build. But remember, don't grief and always be polite to people because it is their map. Maybe they don't want people in and sometimes maybe they will. But anyway, guys, remember, I can't offer these maps for downloads because I don't own the maps. I merely just showcase them. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.